Hi guys, um, I'm coming on today to do a gel polish um, design for you on my hand, on my left hand. So we are going to be using Nail Nails Urban Graffiti Serious Black for most of it. I'm going to do a sugar nail with the black holographic, it's just a black holographic. I'm going to be using some foil, I love foil. And I might mat it actually. So I've already prepped them. So what I've done is I've got some gel residue wipe off solution and I've just wiped over the back. So they're prepped, ready to go. It makes them transfer a lot nicer. And I'm gonna do some fine line work with LV May white gel. Okay, I like to do fine art work with a thicker gel. I'm going to be using Nail Nails uh, 0003 brush for my fine lines um, and I might use this 03 for a couple of lines as well because it's long okay so let's get started I'm going to put the black on most of the nails this black is highly pigmented so you could do a nice thick coat and you'd only need one coat but I like to do um, two thin coats just to make sure that it doesn't peel because if it's too thick gel polishes can peel N not that I've had that issue with these polishes before but it can it might happen don't know I don't want to risk it so make sure you get up to the cuticle and you get all the sides capping all the sides And cap the tip as well. The middle one I'm going to leave for a minute because I'm going to do something different with that one. So the middle one, I am going to just do a black strip in the middle. So I'm just going to put a bit of black polish on my thing here. I'm going to give it a go with this, but I know that I'll be tidying up because I'm not very good with lines. Okay, so I'm going to do just a strip down the middle. I'm shaking already. Down the side. Make sure that looks like it's in the middle. And then just going to fill it in. You can always touch it up with, um, I've got another brush here that I could touch it up with. We only need to do one coat of this one. I 
Okay, so I've done that strip in the middle. Oh, God. Oh, sorry, I thought it stopped recording for a second then. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to do this strip in the middle. I'm going to put that in to cure for 30 seconds. Yep, 30 seconds. Okay, so now I am going to do another coat on three of them, but the two special one. So this one here, I'm going to foil. So just get the colors that you wanna use. I'm gonna try and use all of them if I can. See how easily that foil sticks because I've cleaned the back of it beautiful is that and then I'm going to get my other piece and I'm going to do this whole nail here just get what you can try and cover the whole nail if you can Beautiful. And then I'm going to go over the others, the second coat. And I'm also going to do the sides of that middle finger with the black. This can be a bit messy too, so you probably want to use this again. Probably want to use this again just because it's a bit tricky. Oh, I hope you guys can see this. Now the reason I did it the way I did it, where I did the strip in the middle and didn't just put the black over the whole nail, is that the foil will stick to the whole nail. Um, if you, if I just black, did the whole nail, because it would all be sticky, unless you go and put a top coat on over the side bits, but um, that's just as difficult as what we're doing now, so does it matter? And with the pinky, I'm doing the second coat and I'm going to sugar it. Oh no, sorry. Forget that. I sugar it after when I do the top coat. Not now. Sorry, I've had a long day. <laughs> okay, so that I'm going to do that for 30 seconds in the LED. Okay. 
Okay, so I am actually going to matte these, but before I do so, I'm going to just use Nail Nails Urban, uh, Urban Graffiti Top Coat. Um, just to seal it all in first, because I find the matte can be quite thin and I just prefer this. I prefer to make sure that it's all sealed in, especially foils or any art that you've done. Seal it all in with the glossy coat first and then go over with the matte on top. Make sure it's all sealed in, the edges are sealed. Be really thorough when you're using foil. Now it looks gorgeous, shiny, but I'm loving the matte foil look at the moment. Really liking it. Okay, so my pinky, I'm going to top coat. And while that top coat's still wet, I'm going to sugar. So, that top coat is still wet on my, make sure, oh, see that's, it's gonna make sure you don't get it on any other fingers. I've got a little tray here to pour into, and I'm just going to pour this glitter onto my pinky. Oh, I love it. And you can do that on more if you want. Actually, I might. I might do it on this finger too. I love it so much. Beautiful. So I'm going to put that in. Okay, so that's done. So now I can dust off my sugar nails and they're finished. Sugar nails are done. Okay, and I wanna just tidy up the edges. Sugar nails finished. So now these ones, I am going to go over with the Urban Graffiti Matte Top Coat. Look at that already. That's not in the center at all, now that I can see that. <laughs> oh gosh, doing it on yourself is a lot harder. I just find it just brings it out even more when it's matte. I really like it. Okay, so I'm gonna put them in. Another 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna get my gel residue wipe off solution and I'm gonna wipe, wipe the sticky layer off of those um, matte nails. And then I'm gonna go in with my white design. Okay, so gel residue wipe off solution and cleaning these two. 
Oh, love it. And against those sugar nails, I think they're beautiful. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is just line these and put some crosses in. Now, yes, I'm sorry, but yes, it's not in the center. <laughs> it's funny because when I do it like that, it looks in the center. But when I'm like that, it's not in the center. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, so now this is the intricate bit. I'm just gonna try my best. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna try and get it. Oh look, you know, if you make it if you make it thicker or it's not straight or whatever, I always just go in with um, just a brush like this and I will just try and tidy it up as best as I can. You guys are probably thinking, what is she doing? Oh, I did that. Okay, and then just do the other side. Sorry guys, I'm making the biggest mess of this. Lots of cleaning up to do on that side. But you don't want it too thick either. You can just wipe off if you've got too much. So what I love about gel is that it doesn't set until you're ready for it to set. Okay, I'm just going to put I feel like it needs like a little line around the cuticle. Maybe it doesn't, maybe that's just me. And then I'm just going to go through and just do a few And see how I've gone over here? I'll just tidy that up before I put it in the lamp. Oh my gosh. You can really see how bad I am at lines, guys. Do you know what I should have done first? Yep, you. Yeah, I should have um, cured those two lines first because now I'm mucking those up. Oh my gosh. I swear I am an Altec and I am good at what I do. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like it right now. <laughs> oh gosh. Right. I'm going to put this in the And chuck this in the light to cure and then I'm going to do the rest of it. Now that's cured, I can
One more. So there's no tidying up to do. And then place that in. So I'm going to place that one in actually for 60 seconds because it's quite thick. The lines are quite thick and I want, I'm not going to put a top coat over the top of that because um, I want that left the way it is. So I'm just going to cure that again and then we will be done and I will show you the final design. So once I'm done that, I'm going to do use Nail Nails Cuticle Oil. This one is beautiful, pink pineapple, it smells gorgeous. So I'm gonna just put that on my cuticles. So I've got one shiny, two sugar, and two foil designs here. And I'm extremely happy with the way they turned out. So that's the final, the final look, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. It's very simple. I think foil things are quite simple. If you want them more intricate and put the that on the can. Now that's, a, I'll just wipe over that because it's a little bit sticky, but it's not too bad. So yeah, I'm right into the matte foil at the moment. I just think it brings it out a lot more. But that's that done. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.